Proverbs chapter 29, verse number 18. If you're there, say amen. 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 Proverbs 29, verse 18, and it says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. As sabi sa binasa natin, where there is no vision, the people perish. I would like to admit, sa Lord naman nag-confess na ako siguro nito kasi matagal na ho ito. I have used this message wrongfully for the many, many times of my uh, uh, teachings and seminars and schools. Ginagamit ko itong punto na ito sa pagtuturo ng pangarap at ng goals sa buhay. I have used this verse on uh, on how to uh, encourage people to have a dream in their life. But it's, pwede mo naman kasing i-connected. But, but personally, I admit that na, hindi ko naiintindihan yung verse talaga nung una. At yun ang gusto kong ipaliwanag sa inyo ngayon. Kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng vision na ito. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Kung saan mo lang pakitain, sabi sa Tagalog na, na, ano, na pananalita, ang tao ay nasisira o naliligaw. Ano po ang ibig sabihin nito, Pastor? Yung pong tatlong bagay na yan, ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon habang these three things we will study this afternoon. Number one is the definition of vision. Number two is the dangers in vision. Number three is the delight in vision. Tatlo pong bagay na naiintindihan po natin dapat at mahalaga sa atin. Let's go to the verse. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. We know that the book of Proverbs is the book of wisdom. Solomon in his wisdom from the Lord have shared some truths that are applicable in our practical life. Ang makikita ko natin dito na napakahalaga sa practical na pamubuhay ng Trishano, yung sinasabi dito na vision. But what is vision? Yung pong kailangan natin maintindihan. Some use this as optimism. Dapat optimistic ka daw. Ano ba yung kabaligtan na ng optimist? Pessimist ba? Oo. Yung masyadong mahina ang iyong pananaw, masyadong ang natatakot. Yung sabi naman ng iba, dapat optimistic ka, yung mga positive thinking ka. Are you with me? Uh, and somehow we think that that's the, the meaning of the word vision. But throughout the Bible, you find this word different from what we know. The vision of the Bible, I want you to share to you the definition of vision in this verse. In this passage, alam nyo isa mo yan sa nakakatakot at kailangan. Nakakatakot po mga misinterpret po natin ang katotohanan. Throughout the, throughout the stories of the Bible, you find God working in the life of God's men, chosen men, faithful men, who obeyed the word of the Lord. Are you with me now? Who obeyed the word of the Lord. But the very first thing you need to know in obeying the law of the Lord is for you to understand, for you to understand what is the word of the Lord. Uh -huh. Mahirap po yung gusto nating sundin ang Diyos, pero hindi naman po natin alam yung kanyang salita. Kasi iba yung definition natin ng kanyang salita. We have a wrong definition of the word. Kaya kailangan maintindihan natin bago tayo gumawa ng pagpapala o bago man lang tayo sumunod. At ito mga strategy, yung wala pa yung pagpapala, nagpakasakripisyo tayo, nagpakapagod tayo, kumastos tayo, mali naman pala yung pagkakaintindi natin. Naranasan nyo na yan, yung pumili kayo, tas ang mahal, tas mali pala. Diba? Buti nga ngayon, meron na ano eh, pwede nang ibalik after 7 days. Pag defective, pag mali yung nabili mo, pag gusto mong palitan. Pero mga kapatid, ang hirap po noon, yung ang dami mong ginawa, nagpakabagod ka, hindi naman pala yun yung pinapagawa ni Lord sa'yo. Nag-guess you po? Do you get it? So, in this passage, we have to realize, if it's important to have vision, first of all, we need to understand what vision is. Okay. Vision is not just seeing the positive things that could happen. The word vision in this verse is the Hebrew word kauzo. What is the Hebrew word kauzo means? It is something that comes from above. 
It is an oracle or divine communication. It is prophecy. The word vision is usually used in the Old Testament to show God's dealing to men through His prophets. Amen. You would find in the book of 1 Samuel, if you would go with me, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse number 1. And so you would know what I mean. The definition of vision. The Hebrew word is kauzon. C-H-A-Z-O-N. But it is pronounced kauzon. Hindi chazon. Kauzon. Okay? Chapter 3, verse number 1. If you're there, say amen. amen. The Bible tells us, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. You know what's precious? The word precious is rare. Bihira. Kasi alam naman natin yung istorya, si Eli, yung mga anak niya, binastos ang ministry. Sila na nga namamala sa offerings, aba, prinesyon pa yung mga tao? Are you with me? Hello? Ito pa, ito pa ang bibigay nyo, ito pa ang bibigay nyo. Makatapos, yung mga tao pa, ginawa pa rin ang mga very friends, yung mga nag-offering. You see? They have leaders, they have spiritual leaders, but these leaders are group leaders. Pasaway. Kaya instead of God dealing to His people through His men, there was no open vision. Kaya sabi nyo, the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. The reason why God would not deal with man is sin. Amen. The reason why God would bless man is sin. The reason why we are so dull in our faith, we cannot step the step of faith, we cannot see what God wants us to do, there is no vision because of sin. Uh -huh. So ladies and gentlemen, we have to realize the importance of vision. It is knowing what God wants you to do. Uh -huh. And even knowing what God will do. Are you with me? Open your Bibles to Joshua 8. Open your Bibles to Joshua 8. I hope you will get me. I hope you will understand. Joshua chapter 1, verse number 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse number 8. Tingnan niyo po ang sinasabi ng Bible. Joshua chapter 1, verse number 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse number 8. If you are there, say Amen. The Bible tells us, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Are you there? Amen. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Bakit ang gusto ni Lord mag-devote si Joshua sa kanyang salita? Tingnan niyo po ang sinabi niya sa verse number 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Are you there? Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear to their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very great. So it's still connected, but misunderstood and misinterpreted by many. Yes, vision is looking on what will happen to the future. But biblical vision that would make you perish if you do not have that is when you do not know what God wants you to do. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung gusto kong pagawa sa'yo ng Diyos. Ikalawa, hindi mo nakikita kung anong gagawin ng Diyos. Kaya nagpe-perish, mamaya pati yung perish pag-aaralan po natin. But the first thing that you have to realize, mga mahal kong kapatid, Napakahalaga sa buhay ng mana ng palataya na maintindihan natin kung ano po yung vision na ito. Ladies and gentlemen, brethren, vision is knowing what God wants you to do and what God will do. Uh, nakikita mo yung pangyayari sa inaharap, hindi dahil nangarap ka lang, hindi dahil nakita mo. Hindi ka lang sa magaling na preacher, hindi dahil sa, sa may nagsabi lang sa'yo, kundi personally you know that it is God's will or maybe it is not God's will, and you would know what will happen next, hindi mo kailangang ma-experience para malaman. Vision is the, is, is, is the, diff, uh, uh, is the 
opposite of the phrase to seeds to believe. Nagis yung mga kapatid. Mahat, mas masisira daw tayo sa vision. Kung walang vision, pero kailangan mo maintindihan kung ano ba itong vision na ito. Itong vision na ito, ibig sabihin nito, kailangan nakikita natin kung ano yung plano ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Ah. Hindi mo na kailangan, kailangan magkaroon muna ng blessing para maintindihan mo na yung bless ka ni Lord. You don't even need to suffer first to know that God will punish you in the future. You just have to know and believe what He says. Ah. You, you, when, when God was, are you with me now? Are you with me? Joshua chapter 1 says, only be thou, oh, verse number 6, verse number 6. Forget this out, I hope you would read the Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land. It was time, listen to this, nakikipag-usap si God kay Joshua nung panahon na buhay po yung mga mamamatay tao. They were in a nation that they were, that they were strangers, are you with me now? It is called the promised land. Hello, are you with me? The word says in the type of Moses, the land flowing with milk and honey. The land flowing with milk and honey. Nandun daw po sila sa land na flowing with milk and honey. It, ang ganda makinga na lang, how, how would you imagine a place called a land flowing with milk and honey? Promised land. And then when Joshua came there, giants are there, enemies are there, threats are there, Upon city, upon cities, you find enemies that will kill you and will torture you. And God said, a land flowing with milk and honey. Pag wala kang vision, ang sasabihin mo kay Lord, Lord, that's the land flowing with blood. You would never believe God. That's why the 12 spies kaya si Joshua na lang saka si Caleb ang nakarating. Because they were sent there before it happened. Before God talked with Joshua in verse 6, the Lord sent them through Moses' leadership before. Ten of them saw the, the, the people. Nung nakita nila, ang oh, lalaki nito. Laluloko tayo. Hindi ito land of promise. Land of death ito. Itong tinatawag na Halloween land. Itong tinatawag na death land. Itong tinatawag na dangerous land. Itong tinatawag na doom. But there were two men that said, it is the promised land. God will give us those uh, people and the land. Amen. That's vision. Eh ngayon, si Joshua, nung nakarating na siya, God was telling them, you will divide to the people. Eh, ang lalaki ng mga katawan ng mga kakaway nila. These men are terrible armies. Are you with me now? Amen. But God said, you will divide the land. This is yours, Joshua. You know yung vision, mga kapatid. That's the Bible's vision. Kailangan maintindihan natin ang Bible's vision is this. I am preaching to you, there still, you are not still on 2020, you are not still on 2021, but you will know upon the preachings of God's Word, upon reading your Bible, what God would want you to do in your life, what God can do in your life, what God hates in your life, and what will you do, and it will affect God's decision on you, if you would obey or disobey, and you know where will you fall, or where will you be blessed, that is vision. Huh? And that's what we lack in our generation. We lack people who know God's vision. Hello. Huh? Wala ho tayo, kulang ho tayo. We, 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 we are lacking of Christians who truly know what God wants them to do. What God hates them to do. Ano yung plano ng Diyos sa ating buhay? Ano yung masaya ba ang Diyos sa ating buhay? Kaya nga, during those times of sin, kaya nga napaka-terrible ng kasalanan kasi it would make vision disappear. God won't deal with us. You would not know what God wants you to do. Are you with me, Christians? So, kailangan po nating ma-realize Ang kalagahan ng vision na ito, hindi lang mo yung may pangarap ka para kay Lord. Hindi, kundi may pangarap ang Diyos para sa'yo. Amen. 
God has a plan for your life. Amen? You have to know that plan. You've got to realize that plan. You've got to reach that plan. And there are things that will be against God's plan. Kaya ano mo, hindi magiging masaya ang Panginoon dito. And what's more tragic is when there is no vision. Are you with me now? What's more tragic is pag hindi ka na pinakailaman ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Pag nandun ka na lang sa buhay, that everything that happens to your life is upon your own decision and thinking. And, the, and, 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 and you don't know what God wants you to do. And you don't know if God is grieved or not. Are you with me now? You have to realize that. The definition of vision in in Proverbs chapter 29. No, I'm not talking about the, the, the word vision kasi maraming meaning ang word. Kahit sa dictionary, pag binuklat mo yan eh. But we are uh, talking about that verse in Proverbs 29.18 where there is no vision, the people perish. You know what happened? You know what happened to, to, to 1 Samuel chapter 3? Chapter 4 and chapter 5? God punished them. There's no vision. They, they really do not know what will happen when they fight. They thought that the ark, I don't know story, but they have the ark of God, and the mercy seat, and the parang baul hu yun. Akala nila paghawak nila yun, di sila matatalo. They thought that with their leaders and with the ark, we will win the they will win the battle. And so they fought in 1 Samuel, sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas. They fought there. They have the ark. They lost. They were killed. Why? The glory of God has been has departed. Wala nang kaluwalhatian ng Diyos sa kanila. Hindi na masaya ang Diyos sa nangyayari sa buhay nila. Are you with me? And so I hope and I pray, mga kapatid, that we know how important vision is in our life. But before that happens, you have to know what is the definition of vision. Uh, yung sensitivity natin sa kalooban ng Panginoon. At ang Diyos din naman, pinapakilaman ka pa niya. Kaya nga ako kasama sa vision ng Panginoon ng palo eh. Yeah. Ang basta ka ng kutsyo, hindi ka na pinapalo ng Diyos. If God is not punishing you, if God is not chastising you, that means He does not care about you. But as long as God is dealing with you, as long as you know what God's will is, as long as there is still preaching of the truth, thank God for vision. We know what is reality. We know what will happen. We know what's the possibility when God works on when, when God has His miracle on us. Alam natin may pangyayari. Alam natin may pagpapala. Alam natin na may pagpapalo. Alam natin na may nakatingin sa ating Diyos. Hindi man natin siya nakikita. Wala mo tayong pabor pa ngayon. Wala mo tayong himala pa ngayon. Wala mo tayong nakikita ang pagpapala sa ating mga mata. Pero ang pagitain nito, pag alam natin ang salita ng Diyos, if we know God's word, then we have the opportunity to obey. We can know that there is something that will happen if you will wait and continue. Just try to imagine, there are Christians that are suffering. Do you know the first day that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength? Sometimes it's hard to wait. Are you with me now? There will be times when God wants you to do something, when God wants you to obey Him, and as you obey the Lord, there is what we call a waiting time. Are you with me now? Uh-huh. See, Joseph, when Joseph, before, when the Bible is not yet finished, God would speak through dreams. And when God spoke to Joseph through dreams, God would tell Joseph that he will be blessed by God. But during the present days of Joseph's life, what he had was persecution. What, we, what, what he had was unfair trials of life. Binugbog siya ng kanyang mga sariling kapatid, tapos itinapon siya sa... Can you imagine that? Sa kang bata na masaya lang, na paborito ng tatay at nanay mo, pagkatapos itatapon ka sa balon, pagkatapos sa gulpe ka, tapos ibebenta ka pa. Can you imagine? Kung walang vision si Joseph, ako na. Magre-rebelde yun. Are you with me now? But the Bible tells us in the stories of Joseph, and the Lord was with Joseph. Amen. Why? Because Joseph knew that God is concerned about him. He, knew, he knows that what happened, and even at the, the latter end, 
Ano ang sabi niya? Hindi, pinahitulot ito ng Diyos. That is vision. Vision is knowing God cares for you. Vision is knowing God is concerned about you. Vision is knowing what God wants you to do. Ang hirap mong magantay. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Kung may nakikita tayong blessing, madali. Alam nyo, kami may blessing ako. I would just like to share to you. Just to elaborate this point. Sorry, I'm over time. Pero konti na lang naman to. Tataposin ko na. Nung nangaraan, yun ko, nag-treat ako ng mga pastor, pagkatapos doon sa sagay, sa anniversary. Parang naubos kami ni Pastor JP. Muna kami pera ni Pastor JP. Muli-muli pera namin, 200. 200 na lang kasi nagpakain ako ng mga pastor. Pagkatapos, may mga binili pa ako mga bagay-bagay. Kaya alam ko naman na ang Diyos din kami pamapayaan. Kaya sakto lang, sakto ko sakto na to. Okay na to. Masa maka-uwi na tayo, okay na. Nalimutan ko may parking pala ako. Pinarap ko pala yung kotse, 250 isang araw. Okay, five days yun. Natitimp akong gawin for yung 21. Sabi ko, 21, October 21. Pag ginanong ko yun, for yan, konti na lang babayaran ko. Tao lang ako eh. Tsaka 200 lang pero ako eh. So sabi ko, kaysa manggulo pa ako, tatawa ko ba Sister Mitch, at hindi ako ng lifeline, madaling araw na, gawin ko na lang po. Kaya sabi ko, Lord, sorry, pastor ako. I am a Christian. Pinagpala mo naman kami, naniniwala ako na yung ginawa ko, pagpapalay mo, bakit ko pagkagawin ito? So I tried to talk with somebody and ask him, sabi ko, can I borrow this? At sabi ko sa kanya, pwede ba ako pera min ito? Tapos babalik ko rin sa iyo yung kinabukasan. At ako mandataya. Hindi ko naman sinabi na. Alam mo ko ba din, may nagpadala sa ako, 5,000 pesos. Eh, sabi niya, sa'yo na yan. Kumain kayo. Grabe, gano'n ang pagpapala ng Diyos? Eh, nag-isip po ako mga kapatid. Eh, sa pag-iintay, pag wala kang bisyo, pag hindi mo nakikita ang kalooban ng Diyos, hindi ka sensitive at wala kang pakialam sa Diyos, you don't care about God, or God does not care about you because you're living in sin, mahirap ang kasayang yung mga pagpapala. Ang pakahirap doon sa time of waiting, yung pag wala kang nakikita ang biyaya, magtatapat ka maba, maglilingkod ka maba, gagawin mo ba yung tama, mag-church ka maba, mag-worship ka maba, itatama mo ba yung manet, iiwanan mo ba yung mga bagay na ayaw ng Diyos, it's hard! But when you use faith, and there is faith, when I tell you, you can stay waiting on the Lord. Amen. Amen? That's how important vision is. Vision is not dreaming right now. Vision is knowing the Bible's principle. Pag sinabi yung vision, you know God is concerned about you. You know the Holy Spirit is convicting you through the preaching of the Word of God, through your Bible reading. Kaya mahirap ang kamag... Karoon ng vision kung hindi mo alam yung salita ng Diyos. Amen. Kasi the Word of God will tell you something that will connect to your faith. Actually, faith is vision. Uh-huh. Yun po yung ibig sabihin ng vision. God dealing to you something and you know it because you have faith. What connects man to God's vision is faith. Amen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You know God will bless you. You might not see it and what exactly the blessing of God is, but you know God said and He would do it. And now would you believe? That's faith. Amen? And where's vision? Vision is knowing the principles and fruits of God's Word. Yun ho yung vision. Amen ho ba? Yun yung kailangan natin. O, di saan doon tayo pabalik ulit? Di pabalik tayo sa Bible reading. Kala nyo, lalim no? Parang ang lalim? Hindi! Sa totoo lang, madali. Ang vision ng Panginoon sa atin na doon sa pag-meditate natin at salita ng Diyos. Kaya pa, paano kang magka-vision para hindi ka mag-perish kung hindi ka nagbabasa ng Bible? Hindi ka nakikinig ng preaching? Anong makukuha natin dito sa hapon? Nakakanto kaya? Uh-huh. Are you with me? Anong makukuha natin sa prayer meeting? Anong makukuha natin sa worship? Are you with me now? Huh? Vision! Hey, these are the times where you can get God's wisdom. This is the time when you can know God's will. This is the time that God will convict you of your sin, of your thoughts, of your plans, and your dreams. This is worthwhile! Amen. Amen. Kaya ho, kaya ho, hindi sayang. Pag pumupunta ka sa church, nakakapakinig ka ng preaching, nananaman mo yung kalooban ng Diyos eh. 
Kasi kung wala ang vision, people perish. You see? So it is so important to know the truths of the Bible, to know God's plan in your life through your Bible reading and the preaching of the Holy Word of God. Amen? That is vision. Vision is God's word to you. Ang, ang pananaw, ang vision ay salita ng Diyos sa'yo. Ito yung connection ng Diyos sa'yo sa pamamagitan ng kanyang salita. Paano mo makikita sa pananampalataya? Amen? So, vision is actually a synonym of faith. Seeing what God says, what God hates, what God will do, what God plan is through His precious word. Kaya nga nung pinangakuha ni Lord si Joshua, hati-hatiin mo yan, eh, puro parang hati-hatiin ang katawan niya sa itsura ng mga kaaway niya. Lord, you will divide the land or they will divide our bodies. You see, God will tell him, God, you will divide the land. How can it be true? That God said, Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart out of your you know. That means you have to meditate therein. You have to meditate therein. You've got to know my words. You've got to know my words. You've got to know my words. You know, yun, 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 sinasabi ko sa inyo, nung natitip kong gawin for yung one, baka naman kayo gumawa, tapos sabihin nyo, natutunan ko yan kay pastor. <laughs> Huwag nyo hong gawin. Nag-guess yun po ako, yung mga panahon na yan, na matitip tayong mandaya, matitip tayong gumawa ng mali, eh, mayroong Bible verse na i-preach sa atin. I'll tell the world that I'm a Christian. Every time men will be tempted to do adulterous sin, It's adulterers and adulteresses. So those things rooted in your heart. There is vision. There is faith. You know. So hindi ka masuwis way. Okay. Amen. Makakapag-decide ka ng tama. Ang mas lalong terrible and mat what is more tragic is this. Is this. Yung ang ganda-ganda ng nararamdaman mo sa buhay. You think you're okay. But God is not dealing with you anymore. Uh-huh. Are you with me now? God is not dealing with you anymore. That's number two, the danger in vision. Pag wala na. What is dangerous is when there is no vision. Ano sabi ng Bible? The people perish. The people perish. Where there is no vision, the people perish. The places, sabi ng Bible, sabi niya na, na wala na ang pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos, ang mga ta, ano niyo yung salitang peri? Saan ka na ako mamamatay? Eh, pasun, bakit gano'ng mga buhay pa sila? Yung mga hindi naman sumusunod sa Diyos. The word perish in that verse is the Hebrew word paura. Paura. Hindi po yan, Padre, paura. <laughs> paura. That means to let go, let loose, let alone. Are you with me? Nobody takes care of you. Eh, pasal, okay naman pala eh. Let alone, ako nung buhay ko naman to. Ano mangyayari? There is a way that seemeth right at all man, and the end thereof are the ways of death. To be loosened, to be restrained, to cause refrained, to show lack of restraint, to lose restraint. Wala. You will be liberal, not in giving, but in your Christian life. Pag hindi mo nakikita ang kalooban ng Diyos sa buhay mo, if you don't see God's plan in your life, you will get let loose. Nobody takes care of you. And what will happen? It will lead you to decisions that are ungodly. It will lead you to decisions that are not right. And the very exact illustration, not just illustration, but the very exact definition of that danger, is the book of Judges. In the times of the Judges, there was a, th- those are the times when there was no king in Israel, and Israel did which was right in their own eyes. Ginawa na nila, at ituturo, I am now, uh, we are now, uh, we just finished the book of Judges, sa ahat sa Bible school na pinagtuturo ako. Somebody has to, meron isang, Meron doon isa, kwento ko lang sa inyo, kwento ko na ng maraming beses yung isa, yung kay Micah, nang upit sa nanay niya. The another story in, in the book of Judges is the story of a Levite who had a concubine. Can you imagine that? A Levite who had a concubine. Isa ang libita na naglilingkod sa prison office dapat, meron mo siyang... Kabit, yun ang kadin niya. Pumunta sila sa isang lugar, and then when they went on their way, 
Gusto silang guluhin ng mga tao na kapaligid. Ang binigay niya yung concubine niya. May magpakasasala lang kayo dyan. And they rape her all the day. Can you imagine? These were Israelites. May rape yung babae. Pagkatapos, iniwan ko doon. Hindi ko nga nakita doon talaga sa verse na nalagutan siya ng ininga eh. Pero... Sabi nung iba, patay na. Sabi nung iba, hindi pa. Pero isa, chinap-chap niya yung bahay. She chopped the body of the lady into 12 pieces. And he sent these body parts to the tribes of Israel para magsumbong lang. Are you with me now? And so, the people of Israel gathered together to find the, the, ang tago mo, the criminals. Are you with me? Kaya lang, yung isang tribe, yung Benjamin tribe, ayaw nilang ibigay. They hit these people. And so there was civil war. And you know what Israel did? They, they defeated the Benjamites and they, oh, they were almost gone. One of the tribes of Israel could have been dead, all of them. May natira na lang na bilang na tao. Some six, parang 60 plus or 600. Out of one tribe, in that 12 tribe, 2 million people. Dalawang milyon ang, ang, ang population nila, isa sa mga tribes yung Benjamin. Ang natira sa kanila, 600 na lang na lalaki. Ano mangyayari sa lahat? Mag-i-extinct mo, wala. Eh nakalagay sa Bible na may 12 tribes sa darating po na, na Panginoon Jesus eh. Sa pagdadating ng Panginoon, meron pa 144,000 Jews na maliligtas. Are you with me now? Hello? Okay. Are you with me? You read the book of Judges. You read the book of Judges, especially the last part, and you would find crazy things that have been done by God's people. The people who, have, who were believed to be God's people in the time. People that are ungodly, people that are wicked, people that are crazy, people that are corrupted, people in chaos. Why? There you will let loose nobody is guiding you you know why we are in the right track because Psalm 23 says he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name I am not preaching before you because I am worthy of preaching uh, no way I am a man who can be gone astray had it not been by the grace of almighty God uh, It is grace that protects me. It is grace that holds me. It is grace that guides me through the Word of God. And without vision, I will be dead loose. Uh, Baka magulat kayo, si Pastor na bilalasin na. Si Pastor, tatlo na ang asawa. Si Pastor, sa demon nyo na. You see? How will it happen? when there is no vision. That's the most dangerous part. Kaya nga, sabi nung speaker natin, when God's glory depart, death is more worthy. It is better to die than to let loose of God's glory in your life. Mas mabuti pang mamatay na kaysa mabuhay ka na hindi na ang Diyos na mihilam sa buhay mo. Hindi na ang Diyos na mamalo sa hindi na ang Diyos Ah, hinahayaan ka rin ng Panginoon. Hindi mo na alam kung anong gusto niya sa'yo. Hindi mo na alam kung anong plano niya sa'yo. It is better to die. Uh, If when there is no vision, the people perish. You will be gone astray. Hindi, wala nang makikin, wala nang magliligit sa'yo. Buhay mo na yan, decision mo na yan. Sablay mo yan. Are you with me now? Eh. Kaya nga ako, kahit ganito ang church natin, na sana naman ang mapapaganda natin in the near future. Are you with me now? Okay. Pero hindi ko ito'y pagpapalit sa napakagandang building pero wala nang preaching. Magsasayawan na kayo para ka lang nasa isang organisasyon. Magpapasikatan at magpapaalam at magpaparalingan pero wala nang conviction. Wala nang katotohanan. Wala nang naninindigan sa totoo. Wala nang nangangaral ng tama. Wala nang nag-review. Uh, hindi masaya yun. Akala nyo lang masaya. Kaya magbubungay ng mga buhay na walang pag-ibig sa Diyos, magbubungay ng buhay na walang takot sa Diyos. Bakit? Wala ang vision. Wala nang naipapangaral sa salita ng Diyos. 
Kaya isang application niyan mga kapatid, na mahalin ninyong gawain ng Diyos. Amen. Kung alam niyo na naipapangaral pa dito, Bible. Kung alam niyo na naipapangaral pa dito, totoong salita ng Diyos. Mamahalin natin. Huwag natin ipagpapalit sa kung saan saan. Are you with me now? Amen. Ibigin natin ang gawain ng Panginoon. Ibigin natin ang ating panahon sa sabagkat dito natin ba hindi na nagkaloban ng Diyos. Ha? Kaya makahit na masakit, okay na. Minsan, pag nare-review tayo, pag tayo po'y nasasabihan, pag tayo po'y nakakapakinig, nababagabag pa ang ating puso. Ang sarap niya. Kaysa yung hindi mo na nararamdaman ng salita ng Diyos na bumikino sa buhay mo. It is perishing. Perish is not just dying. It is even better to die than to have this perish. And what is this perish? To be loosened, sabi ng talata. Yung wala nang makikailam sa'yo, yung bahala ka na sa gagawin mo sa buhay mo, kung ano na lang ang gusto mo, gawin mo. Mga kapatid, may mga ipla-plano na tayo even sa, sa January. May mga naisip ako ng plan para lahat tayo makapag-worship ng maayos. Relax lang kayo. That's my work naman eh. Bilang pastor ninyo ako yung uh, nakikipag-usap sa Diyos, sa gara-gara, isa ito pa paano yung mga gagawin natin order sa so worship. And let's just pray. This coming January. Before January, we will have our meeting. Okay po ba yun? Eh. So, the danger of vision is when there is no vision. Nakatakot na po yun. Kasi, bahala na lang tayo sa buhay na. Wala nang makikailang sa atin. Last but not the least, the delights in vision. Look, Proverbs chapter 29. Kaya na, nung unang binabasa to, nung mga unang bago pa lang ako mali ng panatayang mga karal. Sabi ko, bakit out of context naman? When there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keep it alone, happy. See, ama ko, sabi ko, out of context, parang hindi ba kay vision sa taas, hapos no? Until I found out that vision and law of God is the same. Are you with me now? Okay. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. Sabi ng Diyos ni Joshua. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Aalamin mo yung Bible mo. Siyempre, nung panahon nila, five books pa lang. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy. Nung natapos na ang revelation ng Panginoon, 66 books na hatsya. May Bible na ho tayo. God wants you to read your Bible. God wants you to meditate on your Bible. And he that keeps the law, he that is obedient to the words of God, happy is he. Happy means blessed. The the true blessed life is a life under obedience to God's word. It can never obedience can never be the same without vision. Ano sa sundi mo? Di mo alam mo kano ba niya? Kaya magagawa mo na ang pagsunod. Pag alam mo ang kano ba niya sa buhay mo. Pero hindi lang basta alam mo, ang delight ng vision na ito, pag sinunod mo. Ah. Kaya, kaya, kaya ito ay follow up ng wise uh, uh, king ni Solomon. Baka kasi akalahin nyo lang na basta kinala mo si Lord, okay na hindi. But he that keepeth the law. Ah. He was not just talking about people knowing God's will in their life. He was talking about God's people doing God's will in their life. Amen. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. There will be times that you're lonely and still you're blessed. Amen. There will be times that there will be darkness and still you're blessed. Because there is vision. Oh, may mga pagkakatid. Basic lang ito. Kasi ito lang yung fresh sa aking memory. Baka kasi isipin nyo minsan, pera ang pinakamahala na maliit lang yan eh. Maliit lang na blessing ng Lord yan. Pero kahit na blessing pa rin ng Diyos yan, uh, di ba walang wala ka, pero alam mo mo kay ni Lord. Ay, yung mga kapatid, yun din pakiramdala kami. Saya namin yung Pastor JP nung nakaraan eh. Uh, Nag-fellowship kami, sabi ko, kain tayo sa masarap na kainan. Pero doon lang sa karinderiya, karinderiya, mga green, green house na doon. Pero kumain kami, sarap ng fellowship na doon. Kahit wala na kami pera, nuusap kami sa ministry, sa mga, sa mga gagawin natin. Nakalaan mo pa naman na may mag-leble sa akin ng gano'n ng Panginoon. Eh, yung mga imposibling bagay na alam mo kayong gawin ng Diyos. Hindi lang dahil alam mo, yung iba naman kasi gano'n, God will bless you, God. Hindi, you have to keep the law. Amen. You have to obey God. You've got to be in tuned with His will. Dapat hindi may challenge ng pananampalataya mo. Tama po ba, mga kapatid? Dapat nasusunod mo ang kalooban niya, dapat nagagawa natin ang gusto ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Sapagkat nandoon ang totoong 
ระยะทาง And the night in this vision is when you have this vision of God and you are doing His words. Ginagawa mo yung sinasabi niya sa'yo, mga kapatid, ikaw ang pinagpalang tao. Okay. Tulad yung may mag-e-exam si Sister Esa, sinabi ko na sa kanya, sinabi ko na rin sa iba yan. Pero ang totoo yung sinasabi niya, nakakatakot, di ba sinabi ko nga doon sa comment? Ako nga, lisensya lang ng driving, takot na takot ako. Eh. Yung ibang mga kasama ko, kaya hindi natatakot, naglagay eh. Eh ako hindi ako naglalagay, nag-exam ako, grabe talaga yung pawis ko, tos, talagang grabe, hindi ko alam ang gagawin ko. Mga kapatid, pagkatapos biglang mong nag-exam ako, nakapasa ako. Pero ang pagpapala ng Diyos, hindi dahil sa nakapasa ka. Ang pagpapala ng Diyos kasi nasusunod mong buhay niya. Mas maganda pa yung sumusunod ka na hindi ka pumasa, kesa pumasa ka na hindi na sumusunod sa Diyos. Do you get the point? Mas maganda yung sumusunod ka tapos pumasa ka. Are you with me now? Pero hindi ang leverage yung pagpasa. Yung pagsunod mo sa Diyos. Yan ang basihan ng pagpapala sa buhay. Hindi kung ano yung marating mo, kung ano ang taas ng grado mo, kung ano ang galing mo, kung ano ang mga nabot mo, o ang panalunan mo, baka tumaya ka pa. Hindi. It's not with these things. It is when you keep the law of God. Happy are ye. Blessed are ye. What's a life blessed? It's not reaching the goals that we have. Hindi po pinag-go. Huwag na nga, hindi naman po pwede. Ay, hindi naman pala yan. Ay, bali wala na yan. Huwag na nga. Try ko na lang yung mga sagot ko. Hindi yun. Ganun ang dinuturo ng Bible. Gagamitin ka ng Diyos dyan eh. Mag-exam ka, sumagot ka, galingan mo, mag-aral ka, mag-trabaho ka, magtapat ka sa ginagawa mo, maging makabayan ka. Pero ang panuntunan, ang basihan, ang timbangan ng tagumpay at pagpapala ay hindi sa mga bagay na yan. Kundi sa kung gaano mo sinusunod ang kalooban ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Amen? It is on how you keep the law of the Lord. Is God happy in my life? Because when He is happy, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yan ang kalakasan natin. Yung masaya ang Diyos sa ginagawa natin. Yung alam mo na, kaya nga sabi niya kay Abraham, I am your shield. Wala na, solve na lahat ang problema ni Abraham kahit anong ibang pangarapin niya. Sinabi na ng Lord sa na yung shield ni Abraham eh. Can there be any goal greater than that? Then God will be your shield and your exceeding great reward. There is nothing that can be compared to that blessing of life. And so, brethren, what will be the delight in God's vision? When you are doing what God wants you to do. And living what God wants you to live. Gagawin mo yung gusto ng Diyos sa buhay mo. At iiwanan mo yung mga bagay na ayaw. Yan ang totoong pinagpalang buhay. Amen? I hope and I pray that in this 2020, we will be prepared to have a clear shot. Amen? Tumayo po tayo lang.